How to make an electric cycle. This session covers 1. Concept and benefits of electric bike 2. Parts required to build it 3. Know where to get the parts from 4. Which battery to use 5. Lacing the hub motor to the rim 6. Converting the existing bike to electric 7. Protecting the bike from theft Why to make electric bike? For automobile engineering students this is a good project to start because this sector is converting to electric. Huge automation in manufacturing business will reduce future job availability. 80% of the existing jobs will be cut across all industries. Create jobs instead of looking for it. Best time in India to get into this business. Cheap parts and good profit margin. Electric bike consists of just three part. Motor. Battery. Throttle. Just like. Fan. Powered by electricity. And fan speed controller. Anybody can easily combine these three on two wheels to create a bike. Now imagine creating such a vehicle with an internal combustion engine. Such a task would have been complex and unimaginable to be made by a layman in his backyard or garage. The worst part is that such a vehicle would be illegal to ride in any city in any part of the world. But a 250 watt electric bike is welcome in almost all cities in the world. Advantages of electric cycles over normal cycles are that. It helps the rider ride over hills or flyovers with ease. It helps them go further and faster. It also helps the newbie cyclist to keep up with regular cyclists. Lithium-ion versus lead acid battery. 1. If lithium-ion battery was so good then why are lead acid batteries still used for so simple a thing as to start a petrol car, in electric forklifts and in electric rickshaws? 2. Li-ion rupees 19,500 versus rupees 2,600 lead acid. All logical arguments should end here. 3. Dangers of explosions and catching fire with Li Ion. 4. Most of the Li Ion available is Chinese made, buy it at your own risk like all Chinese products. Bottle Battery vs Box Battery 1. Bottle battery is lithium ion and is the most compact and easy to install battery. 2. Bottle battery is expensive at around Rs 19,500. 3. Bottle battery available online is Chinese make and quality. 4. Experience with other Chinese products prevents using bottle batteries in spite of it being easy. 5. Electric bikes became unpopular in India because of inferior Chinese battery. Ease of installation, the hub can very easily be mounted on the front by replacing the existing wheel. The axle of some of the hub motors are slightly thicker than the existing front wheel axle so sometimes a little filing or grinding needs to be done to get it in. Mounting a hub motor wheel on the rear is much more complicated than mounting it on the front. 2x wheel drive, the bike will get power from the hub motor on the front wheels and from the rider on its rear wheel thus making it a well balanced two wheel drive vehicle. The pulling ability of such a bike is much better than single-wheel drive bikes, especially on slopes and in sand. Effective suspension fork, the front suspension fork dampen a lot of vibration and jerks. Rear wheels do not have any suspensions on most cycles and the ones that have rear suspension are very poor in dampening the vibrations. Thus using a front hub wheel is better than a rear hub wheel. Optimum balance, the bike gets evenly balanced when the motor is in front and the battery is in the middle. Even if the battery is placed on the carrier behind the rider the balance maintained is optimum rather than having everything in the rear. Lacing the hub motor to the wheel rim. It is more profitable if you do not buy the hub motor wheel, but instead buy the motor, controller and throttle kit. Such kits are much smaller in size and once the kit has arrived, then lace the motor to the rim. Rims can be bought locally for all sizes and various tire widths are also available. To lace the hub motor to the rim the spokes are inserted, leaving an alternate hole, 
from outside through the holes on the hub motor. The alternate hole is laced similarly from the other side. Sometimes there is a third hole next to the two holes. The spoke of the third hole will cross these two spokes. Next they are attached to the rim with nipples which are screws. Once all these screws are tightened the wheel has to be spun to see if there is in play or bend to one side and accordingly the screw has to be tightened. Once the hub motor has been laced to the wheel, remove the existing front wheel and replace it with a laced hub motor wheel. Prepare a battery stand that will fit between the cycle frame, based on the dimensions of the battery. Duct tape the two batteries together and connect the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the other battery. Connecting the controller 1. Make sure to buy the motor, controller and throttle from same manufacturer, else the connectors might not fit. 2. Duct tape the controller to the battery. 3. Connecting just three main connectors, battery, motor and throttle, can get you moving. 4. The connectors might look like a lot of wires. Don't worry they cannot connect into the wrong places. Five. Ha, pedal assist sensor, can be placed around the pedal. Essence of Cycles 1. Cycles are basically free energy, zero cost vehicles. 2. Cycles are clean and green they don't add to pollution. 3. Cycles are almost zero maintenance vehicles, mounting batteries and expenses on bicycles is not prudent. It would be better if solar panels are used instead of the batteries, and it becomes a free energy vehicle. At least the solar panels are cheaper than lithium-ion batteries and lasts much longer. With panels there is no need to charge the bike. Add a 250 watt solar panel on the roof costing rupees 13,000 and batteries will not be required. Solar panels will be the batteries and there will be no need to charge the batteries. Solar panels are cheaper than lithium-ion batteries and weigh less than lead acid. Solar panels has far longer life than both lead acid or lithium-ion batteries. It will also protect you from the hot sun. Electric cycles like other cycles too are theft prone. The batteries, controller, throttle dashboard, LED lights etc can be easily stolen. Even the hub motor's wheels can be easily removed. Replacing these will be expensive, it is better to take care of your electric bike and take it inside your house if possible. If you have to leave it outside, make sure you lock both wheels to the frame of the cycle and then lock the frame to a post. Never leave the batteries, lights or other accessories on the bike. 